way. You know, they give, they see the edge that it gives us, and they want the same thing. This is going to war. <laughs> Our red flag situation here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway in the Eyes Out IndyCar Series is now an hour and 15 minutes roughly and uh, we are still waiting official word on the condition of Dan Weldon. We had a 15 car crash if you're just tuning in on lap number 12 and several cars got into the catch fans. We'll show you one angle from high above and you'll see exactly what happens. Cars, just as soon as they touch, we end up having a situation where the one car starts to get out of kilter eddy, gets collected by another, and a chain reaction that continues, and as we discussed before, at these speeds at over 220 miles an hour, you really are just a passenger. You're a passenger, and really how you deal with that accident is, is just a question of reflex. Once these things start, it's just an accumulative effect of cars and pieces, gearboxes, and whatever being bounced around the track. And there's nothing you can do. You just have to ride it out and hope you're in the right place. And many of these drivers, unfortunately, were not. And multiple cars got into the air, including Dan Weldon's car right there, as you see, as it goes into the catch fence as well. And, it, and it, it's just unbelievable carnage. Every driver that we have talked to said they have never seen a zone like that uh, in their lives where they had to drive through and how much debris there really was scattered across the track. Uh, along with two guys who have been through this. I mean, you've broken your back twice. I mean, this, this, there's nothing uh, more devastating. We, we talk about it. We almost, from time to time, get used to the fact that we're running fast. We hit the wall, and everybody walks away. 